Hey everybody, how you going? Welcome to another episode of Doubt Busters. This episode is, uh, or little download or whatever you want, is about thinking about how far you've come. So we, doubt comes and goes like all everything else to do with energy. So if you are looking at expanding your intuition or even just enjoying life a little bit more, I absolutely think these things go hand in hand. There is always a personal development element to growing your intuition. So I think to have a look at how far you've come, an opportunity to, to beat ourselves up always and our what ifs and our overthinking and our doubt is going to come up like fucking fireworks trying to set fire to shit but if you're able to just stop for a minute and go well you know what two years ago i was here doing this or i hadn't or i didn't realize that um you know my intuition was where it is and i mean insert any timeline you like it might be six months two years five years ten years whatever doesn't matter but you being able to um, put into your head or, or just take yourself back a bit and go, actually, I've come quite a long way. But the beauty of that is there's also a long way to go, but it's doable. It's always doable. There's no end to your story until the day they put you in the fucking box. So your your ability to keep growing and keep evolving is fantastic, but you've already done a lot of it. So yay you, fucking yay you. Self-doubt is one of those things that you fight all the time. Please don't let it be the thing that holds you back from developing your intuition in whichever direction you want it to. You might have an absolutely fucking magnificent career that you love that's nine to five and you just want to be able to tie in your intuition a little bit more to that. You may want to follow down this path and use your intuition all the time for a living. You may want to be able to help coach people. You may want to use it for your family. You may, it doesn't really fucking matter. What really matters is the impact that self-doubt has on your ability to trust Trust your messages, trust your guidance, tune in. Pun me, thank you, confirmation burp. But looking back at, like, looking, but for me, looking back, it's only probably, I don't know, three years that I worked out that I get fucking confirmation burps. I used to go, why do I only burp in my healing room? Why? But now I get them all the time, I'm like, yes, thank you, that's awesome. Pardon me, thank you, that's my thing. And I always do that, pardon me, thank you. I don't know why. I don't, I've already burped. There's no point covering my mouth. Anyway. Um, but they feel different, like that acknowledgement, that, that little thing, that, that acknowledgement, that that physical thing, that was such a massive breakthrough moment for me. But that was quite a while ago. So I do look back and go, yeah, I got that. And there's more coming and more happening all the time. So all of this is important. But do please do remember to look back and see how far you've come. You are amazing. You are brilliant. You are getting on top of this. Self-doubt doesn't have to be the enormously loud voice that is holding you back. Self-doubt will be at some point thing that makes you go hmm that's interesting what can i learn from this that's what i want from you guys this beautiful sense of evolution and for you to grow your intuition how it's brilliantly meant to be hope you find that helpful can't wait to see you soon bye